congratulations. That was a, a hugely important win. We were just saying another three points at home, really putting the pressure on those teams just ahead of us in the league now. Uh, yeah, I think it was. A, we obviously knew that we needed to win, and um, it was a tough game. Trust me, the second half, um, for that first 20, 25 minutes, of the second half, that was we really had to dig in there. So um, it was a well-earned three points, and the lads deserved the win. That yeah, once again for you as well. It's another goal to add to your record this season. Uh, they mm. keep flowing for you. It was a proper number nine's goal. We were saying as well uh, to get on the end of that one. Brilliant cross from Dan James, but a fantastic finish as well. Yeah, I know that if I make the movement in the box, um, especially if coming from the right side, it's like when DJ is obviously going to look to cross and uh, he knows what my movement is. So it's worked a couple of times now. But to be honest, I'm fuming that I didn't score the second. So. Well, yeah. Harry, I was just going to come with that. You've taken the words out of your mouth. I was going to ask you about the bicycle kick that you tried because I was saying <sighs> your first goal was magic. You know, the movement, like you said, was tremendous for Dan to pick you out being the only striker in the box. And I was trying to explain to the viewers like how hard that is to head the ball back across goal. You made it look so easy. But talk us for the bicycle kick, mate. That's a man in confidence. What happens? Uh, do you know what? I decided too late. I decided too late to do the bicycle kick. And <laughs> so I was trying to like, <laughs> I had to speed everything up and yeah. It hurt when I landed on my head and oh. it didn't go in, so yeah, it's double whammy. No, I'm just pleased you didn't get injured, but mate, what a performance. You're on a really good, rich, rich feeling of form at the moment. I'm buzzing for you. I chatted you after the pressing game the other day in the players' lounge. I was saying about we were talking about how, how that was a really stop start game. They were trying to like break down play and slow everything down. Did you feel the night was a lot more open? Did you, did you enjoy that game more tonight? Obviously, with the three points, I know it helps, but um, it seemed a lot more open and a lot more space for you and Georgie. Yeah, I think so, especially. Once we kind of got grips with it in the second half, um, it was tough because we went a large, well, large spells without the, <laughs> sorry, but <coughs> without the ball, and um, that takes a lot out. <coughs> that takes a lot out of you. Daniel Farker, because for, for him against his former club, done the double now. Suspect he had a big smile on his face coming off there at the end, Pat. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to see him yet, but um, I'm sure there'll be there'll be things that he wasn't too pleased with and things that we can always improve on. But the main thing was winning today, and we did it. Can I just ask, obviously, with all your goals, Patrick, and where, where, where you are, what, what are you enjoying most out of this system that Daniels Fargo has got the boys playing? I think that generally we're, we're so calm with the ball and we've got players who can kind of dictate the game, which makes it a lot easier for a striker to, to know when he's going to make his run. So, like, I know I'm probably going to make 20 runs and maybe get it three or four times, but... It's not like I can kind of bide my time and I can, I've can i got time to pick and choose my movement, which helps me and gives me an advantage. Uh, just one final one before we let you go. It's FA Cup this weekend. You've enjoyed the FA Cup so far this season. Pat, it's gone quite well for you, particularly uh, individually for your own performance and that wonder strike. How much are you looking forward to a, a break from the league and getting stuck into trying to get us further in a cup that, you know, historically in recent years, we haven't got quite as far as maybe we'd want to. Yeah, of course. And we're going to every game and want to win it and we'll treat it the exact same as we would a league game. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll win on Saturday. And it's about putting that, those runs together, whether it's in the league or the cup, and that breeds confidence in itself. Well, one more wonder goal, please, Patrick. Keep, <laughs> keep it going for the Strikers' Union. Mate. Well done. All right.